Turtles. Now, if you're watching this with us being a coffee channel, you understand they're more than a device to just heat up water. So let's dive in and see what makes a great gooseneck temperature controlled kettle. Only a few years ago, if you're looking for a gooseneck temperature controlled kettle for your cafe or your home, there was only one real option on the market, being the Bonavita. They really were the OG kettle in the gooseneck temperature controlled space. Now there was one main thing with that kettle, they just weren't pretty. They looked like a normal kettle that was temperature controlled and had a gooseneck. They served the purpose, they worked, and you saw them used for a lot of things, not only for filter coffee, but for tea, long blacks. It just did the function of a kettle. Now, fast forward and Fellow came to the market and really revisited what it meant to be a gooseneck temperature control kettle. Design, features, flow rate, control, balancing off the kettle, and it really did a beautiful product. And that opened to a host of new kettles coming to the market and really now quite a strong segment in the market. Since then, we've got the Artesian Barista, the Timel, and the Brewista. Now, there's plenty more kettles out there, but these four are the most popular kettles we sell. On the display here, they're all in white, but they do all come in black, and quite a few of them come in different colors and different specs, like the wooden handle on the fellow product. Now, let's dive in and see what makes these kettles different to each other, what makes them similar, and what you need for yourself. Things like capacity, time to start up, the flow rate of the kettles. You know, there's quite a lot of features they have that don't seem obvious at first, because they all look quite similar, but then when you dive in, you start seeing the differences between each kettle. So let's dive in and see segment by segment what makes each kettle different. First things first, capacity. Now, over here, they vary from 800 mils all the way to one liter. And there's no right or wrong when it comes to capacity. It really depends on what you wanna be using these kettles for. In a cafe, you might not only be using them for pour over coffee, the things like long black, which is a lot more water, so you might want the larger kettles to be able to do that and do it a bit more back to back. And that's when later on, when we talk about startup time or time to heat up the water, it makes sense having a faster kettle in that sense. At home, you might not need that volume. You might be doing pour over coffee, so you might only feel as much water as you need. In the case of the Timer, this is an 800 mil one, but they do make a smaller 600 mil that you might use if you're only using it for pour over coffee at home. So when it comes to capacity, it really depends on what you're using these kettles for. So these kettles obviously variable temperature control, so they have a range of temperatures they work within. All of the kettles here work from 40 to 100 degrees Celsius, with the Artesian Barista having a slightly narrower range from 57 to 100 degrees Celsius. Now, in reality, you're gonna be doing long blacks, teas, and filter coffee. Obviously, being a gooseneck, they really are designed for filter coffee, which is gonna sit on the higher end of that range. So you may not need the whole 40 to 100 degrees, but it is nice to be able to have that and be able to dial it in to the degree. So another thing to look at is the flow rate of these kettles. And that's where these kettles vary dramatically. We got the Fellow and the Timer with a slower flow rate, 17 and 18 mil per second. Now this is great when you're doing filter coffee and it allows for a lot of control and really what these kettles were designed for. On the flip side, you have the Brewista, which has a faster flow rate. And this helps if you're doing a lot of long blacks or teas, you can really get the water in there nice and quick. When you are doing coffee though, it takes a little bit more control to really slow it down and not as easy to use as the Fellow and Time more. And that's when the Artesian Barista kind of blended the best of both worlds. Naturally, it comes with quite a fast flow rate, but it comes with two restrictors that you can put in. So with one restrictor, you can bring it down to a very similar speed to the time on the fellow, and with the other restrictor, you can really slow it right down. Obviously, if you're slowing it down, great for coffee, but harder to fill up a cup for, say, long black. So it really depends on what application you're using these kettles for. It is nice that the Artesian Barista gives you that flexibility. Obviously, with the fellow and time, or they're really designed with a main focus being filter coffee, and the Brewista is kind of designed to be a bit of everything, I guess. Now, another thing to look at 
is the weight of the kettles. Now, traditionally, heavier weight normally signifies a better build, better material, quality product. But when it comes to these kettles, you are holding these kettles up with water inside them. So the weight can be nice to be a little bit lighter, so it's a lot easier for you to hold up. And that's where Timor really have nailed it, being the lightest kettle here. Compared to the heaviest kettle here, the Artesian Barista, it's lighter by over 200 grams, and it does make a big difference. Now this is subjective and what you like out of a weight, but for me, having that lighter kettle is nice. Early in the video, we mentioned startup time. What that means is from zero to the temperature you require, how quick these kettles are. We test them from zero to 100 to keep it consistent. And obviously they vary slightly in capacity. And the Artesian Barista nailed it, being the fastest kettle here, closely followed by the Timor, and with the Brewista being the slowest one. Now, why startup time matters is, obviously in the morning, you fill it with water, you wanna make coffee, you want it to start up quickly. But more importantly is in the cafe environment. After you've made your coffees, you need to fill it up with more water and you want these kettles to really perform quickly so you can get as many coffees out as possible. And that's where the Artesian Barista nailed it for a cafe environment and I think for a home environment having a fast startup like the Time Wall, both of them really did perform. So when it comes to features, all these kettles have quite a lot of features but they don't all have exactly the same features as each other. So let's try to run through them quite quickly. Both the Timor and the Fellow have auto reheat, which is kind of cool. Once it gets to a set temperature, you're doing your pour over, every time you're putting that kettle back on the base, it's lost a degree or two, it's gonna auto reheat back to that set point, keeping it super consistent. Both the Artesian Barista and the Timor have a thing called fast boil. So when you put them in, you press that one button and it gets to boiling point as fast as possible. Now both the Brewista and the Fellow have inbuilt timers. Now, generally speaking, when you're doing pour over, you might be using a coffee, or you should be using a coffee scale, but depending on what feature you have on that scale, you might lose the timer functionality. So it's nice that you can use these and see the timer on them. And one last feature that only the Timor has is the anti-boil dry. So even if you run out of water, you're never gonna damage the kettle. And I find that kind of cool, especially when I'm half asleep in the morning. So which of these kettles is best for you? When it comes to choosing, it really depends on what you want from a kettle and where you're gonna be using these kettles. So say at home versus at a cafe, predominantly for filter coffee or for multiple applications. Now in a home sense, predominantly for filter coffee, you're really looking at something like the Fellow or the Timor. Beautiful design, a lot of control, slow flow rate and really nice features. For a cafe environment where you want to do a lot of, say, long blacks and teas, and you are doing some filter coffee, the Artesian Barista offers a really nice balance, super fast startup, and you can different flow rates depending on if you're leaving the kettle as is or putting a restrictor. Obviously, the Barista had the fastest flow rate, so if you just want to use it for, say, long blacks, it really is available to just pour out really quickly. So it really depends on what you want out of a kettle. For me personally, I'm a sucker for design. And I find the Time Lord just a beautiful kettle. Well designed, well featured, lighter, so really nice to pour from. And with the anti-boil dry function, I know I'm not gonna forget it when I'm half asleep, turn it on without any water inside or something along those lines. But I'm curious to know, which kettle do you like the most and why? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.